So in designing the Soup and Dumpling website, I decided to put a nice splash graphic you can see here on the home page. Um, you'll also notice we have these nice animated links in the navigation section. I've created a vector-based graphic for the logo for Soup and Dumpling, and I've chosen some unique warm uh, bronze colors uh, to draw people in to the brand. I'm going to start to navigate now. We'll go over to the menu page and you can see I've created a simple but elegant menu that breaks down uh, into categories, appetizers, entrees, and drinks you'll see. And you'll also notice that this nice soup and dumpling logo is reiterated throughout the site. Moving on, created additional information about the Soup and Dumpling brand that focuses on Chef Harry Chu. Uh, and you'll notice we've got a nice photo of him. And we also have uh, used some custom CSS coding to create unique fonts and colors uh, to introduce the chef. And then feature the content about the chef for the About Us page. I chose to include a blog module uh, for the Soup and Dumpling site because uh, this is a way to attract more web traffic and uh, interest more users uh, in visiting your site. It also creates social ready shareable content. Uh, and finally, uh, the contact page I designed, again, uh, a simple but elegant modern format that includes Google Maps and crucial contact information. Navigating back to the home page, I want to show you something that I think enhances the user experience uh, after they've scrolled down and experienced the initial graphics and text on the home page. We've also used custom HTML coding to implement a view menu button uh, that when they click offers an alternative navigation option to the menu page. Lastly, you'll see up here uh, we've included social media icons uh, that we can integrate with Soup and Dumpling social media accounts uh, as soon as the client is ready to launch the site.